Hi, this circuit is a sensor tapped transformer full rectifier. But before we learn about that, let's first ask the question what is a sensor tapped transformer? This video will answer that question and go on to explain how to use a sensor tapped transformer and give examples. Remember, as always, you can try the circuits I show yourself with the links in the description. Here I have a normal transformer on the left and a sensor tapped transformer on the right. You can clearly distinguish the sensor tapped transformer with this marking here. I've done a video on the normal transformers in the past, link in the description, but just as a quick summary, Transformers convert an AC voltage to another AC voltage. This conversion rate is decided by the turns ratio. What do I mean by turns ratio? Well, transformers are made up of coiled wire. This transformer has 10 turns on the primary, as you can see here, and 10 turns on the secondary, meaning that it has a turns ratio of 10 divided by 10, which is 1, so a turns ratio of 1. In this circuit, I have a center tap transformer with a 1 volt AC supply on the primary and a load on the secondary, but I'm not using it like a sensor tap transformer because I'm just connecting straight through here and ignoring the sensor tap. So if I simulate the circuit, you'll see that the signal going in, the blue, and the signal going out, the green, are pretty much the same because the transformer is acting like a one turns ratio transformer at the moment. So what comes in comes out. However, if I instead stop the simulation and disconnect this wire here and connect it to the center tap pin and simulate, what do you think is going to happen? Well, because the 10 cores and the secondary are split, so there's only five on this first section, the transformer now effectively has a turns ratio of 10 to five or a turns ratio of two, meaning the output voltage is halved. If I were to then pause the simulation and double the number of turns on the secondary up to say 20, and then simulate, you see that the input and output voltage once again match up because there's now 10 turns here, 10 turns here, but because the sensor tap is connected, we're only using 10 turns on the secondary. This is a simple sensor tapped full wave rectifier. It only needs the parts we just used as well as two diodes. The advantage of this over traditional full wave rectifiers like this one is that they normally need four diodes. There is a link in the description explaining what a diode is as well as a link to this full wave rectifier. So if we simulate the circuit, you can see that the primary side is producing a continuous sine wave, so alternating polarity up and down. Now, as it passes through a transformer, the current switches paths. So it's either passing through this diode or through this diode, alternating. But either way, the current flow is always throwing one direction through the resistor. So the result is that we get this sort of folded sine wave effect. Now you can see this is close to DC in that we've changed a signal that has positive and negative voltage into a signal with only positive voltage. You'll notice the folded peaks peak at just under five volts. This is because the diodes unfortunately have a small voltage loss. It would be nice if this folded wave was more like a DC wave. So if we now pause the simulation and add a 200 microfarad capacitor and a switch and simulate the circuit, you'll notice that the output, the green line here, is no longer a bouncing sine wave and now a smooth rippling closer to DC wave. If you were to add more capacitors in parallel of different values, we can make this even smoother, like a regular DC supply. You could then use this new DC power supply to power whatever your circuit needs. Overall, sensor tap transformers are fairly niche in their applications when compared to regular transformers, but they certainly have their merits and are a good one to keep in the back of your mind when you're designing your own circuits. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you loved it, and have a good day. See ya!